Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be taking a closer look at a couple new lines of DDR3 memory from Crucial. This is half height, low profile DDR3 memory. We're going to take a look at the Crucial Ballistics Sport VLPs as well as the Crucial Ballistics Tactical LPs. Let's start off with a closer look at the Sports. This is a 16 gig kit, so 8 gigs on each stick here. The Sport series is designed, uh, it's aimed more at the mainstream market, so uh, you're not going to find quite as high of speeds or as tight of timings on these, uh, but they're going to be priced a little bit more aggressively, and they should uh, fit in most home builder scenarios if you're looking to build a gaming computer or a general use computer and you're not looking to set any benchmarking records. But when you talk about Half-height memory, Crucial has really taken this to the extreme, and um, just to sort of give you guys a point of reference, I have sort of a standard non-heat-synced uh, DDR3 memory dim right here, so that, as you can see, these are truly just about half-height memory sticks. The, the PCB itself only raises up about that high. In fact, the upper notch uh, that you latch it into is only held from the top, but that's still, of course, more than enough to hold it in place. But uh, as you can see, we have some uh, slight uh, heat spreaders that are attached to the memory, the Sport VLP logo right there. Uh, timings on these are 999.24. They're 1.35 volt memory sticks running at 1600 megahertz. They're of course XMP, uh, they have XMP support as well for Intel Extreme Memory Profile. And um, you can obviously get these in eight gigabyte capacity. So uh, I'm gonna do a demo in just a minute, but first off, let's take a look at the tactical LPs. So here they are, and as you can see, these have a little bit of a heat spreader on it, so it gives a little bit more height, but the PCB itself is still nice and short. Uh, these are following the same color scheme as some of uh, Crucial's high-performance memory in the past, and um, the back of the box here is still the same, but the Tactical series is geared more towards enthusiasts, uh, gamers, of course, people who are looking for a bit more speed, a bit lower latency. This particular kit right here happens to be an 8 gig kit, so we have two 4 gig dims. This is still 1600 speed memory, uh, but the timings again are a little bit lower, it's running at 888.24, and again 1.35 volt memory. As you can see here, this one has a little bit more of a, of a heat spreader on it, so as you can see that raises a bit above the level of the PCB. However, still stays much shorter than our traditional DDR3. Uh, DDR3 dim, as you can see right there from the side profile view, you're still uh, gaining at least, I'd say, a half a centimeter or more of space right there, which can be important, especially in tighter build situations. Another nice feature of the tactical LPs here is that you can see they also have a black PCB on them, so uh, whatever portion of your PCB is visible, if you're paying a lot of attention to the uh, aesthetics of your build, it might blend in a bit better. Uh, but next up, let's go for a demo and show where these actually are going to gain their benefit from having the low profileness. So here's a quick demonstration and a comparison. We have a uh, sort of a more traditional DDR3 dim right here that has a raised heat spreader to provide a little bit of extra heat dissipation. But as you can see, the height of this particular dim is pretty substantial. Now next to it over here, I've installed the tactical LP. So you can see that that barely reaches above the level of the actual dim slot. It's uh, connected right here on the side, but of course uh, still has uh, attachment with the bracket there, so it's still staying nice and secure. But uh, a reason why you might not want to go with a higher uh, heat spreader, one that has a dim, uh, a dim with a heat spreader such as that one, is if you have a larger heat sink, such as the Thermaltake Freo right here, and especially if you want to do a configuration such as push-pull and you want to have a fan right there, well, you don't always have enough room, particularly with this right here. I would not have enough room to have the uh, memory stick with the heat spreader and have my uh, push fan attached right here and install that in place. Well, the solution here, of course, is going to be to go with a lower profile dim. So since these happen to match much better with the color scheme on my Gigabyte G1 Sniper motherboard that I'm using to demo, I'm going to pop in the Ballistic Sport VLP. Uh, there's also a quick sort of comparison of the height difference between the two of those. But as you can see with the Sport version plugged in, I can set my heatsink down and wow, I actually have plenty of clearance right above there. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Crucial Ballistics series of low-profile memory. We have the Ballistics Tactical LP series and the Ballistics Sport VLP series. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you'd like to see more videos just like this one, you can find them on our Newegg YouTube channel. And of course, you can check out Newegg.com for this memory. It's available in a variety of capacities, timings, and speeds. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.